Good morning. It's time for Midweek Motivation Live. This is your host, Patrick Lee, coming at you from Studio One, downtown, the First Bank Southwest Tower, live on the 18th floor. Hope everyone's doing great today. This is the first broadcast of 2022. Broadcast, podcast, live video. Call it what you will. This is what it is. Midweek Motivation Live. People already tuning in live from around the world. As we found out last week, I uh, had comments that came in from um, numerous foreign countries through YouTube and some of the other services where we broadcast live, simulcast the show, translated those, and they were literally the people just saying, hey, hi, we're watching you from one was Sweden and one was Norway. I thought that was pretty cool. So I screenshot their comments so I could translate them because they were in their native tongue and I had no idea what they were saying. I'm like, good to know. That's what they were saying. Love it, love it, love it. Hope everyone's doing good today. Title of the show today, Finding Your Superpower. Um, that's one of the things that's really big on, um, on my agenda for this year um, is operating more in the superpowers that I am learning about myself. Was that a coaching recently? And this was one of the one of the uh, topics that we talked about. Good morning, Pete, Marlene. Love you guys. People already watching. Love that. Uh, while I was at this big coaching, it's a, a boot camp for real estate agents in in Frisco, Texas. Recently, one of the speakers there was talking about this subject in a little bit of a different way. You know, it's operating in the difference between strengths and weaknesses. But one of these was really. The, the way I took it was, I, be, I believe, you know, we're not all superheroes, but we do have super, super powers that, at times, things that we are stronger in. Hey, Cody. Yeah. Hey, we'll talk about this. These are the, uh, the, uh, the PLG group uh, pullover sweatshirts. Uh, um, we'll have to talk about that, Cody. I may have to order some more of these. I really love this one. Hey, Christine, good to see you on the show today. Love you. We need to talk about getting back out to Oregon soon. Peter says, what is Patrick's superpower? We're going we're gonna to talk about that. But my main focus today is you, helping you determine what your superpower is. Um, <laughs> yes, you do, bro. Where in the, where in the, the brand for, for PLG, buddy? I love that. And... Um, so that's really what I want to talk to you about today. Finding your superpower. And I would want you to, here's one of the best ways to, to find out what you think yours, yours may or may not be. And that's to ask your friends, people that you work with, know, trust, and love. Um, those are the people that I like to poll the most, people that I know, trust, and love. Um, because those are the ones that are going to be the most honest with you, right? Uh, finding your super, what is a superpower? Are you kidding? I can't like, I don't have x-ray vision. I can't fly. I don't have spidey webs, the spider webs that shoot out of my wrist like some of the Spider-Men in the in the multiverse have. Some of some Spider-Men have to create their own webs. Just found that out recently. Lame. Anyway, <laughs> but I digress. What is your superpower? Do we do I have superpowers like those? No, but what is your superpower? Your superpower could be anything from being intuitive your superpower could be that you're an incredible motivator that you're an incredible friend that you are a workhorse and when someone needs a, a really hard job done you're the person that they can call and you jump in there and roll up your sleeves and you knock out some really hard labor some of you are are great at being a supportive friend and your superpower is that you're an empathic listener and people that have that superpower, of course, a lot of times go into the, the, the psychology field, the psychiatry field. They become a counselor, a, a children's worker, a social worker, because they're, they're incredible listeners and problem solvers. And they know how to listen to these people effectively and help them um, get through the situations they've been with and help them move on to a more successful future after they've learned how to deal with what they've been through. Maybe your your superpower is that you're a you're a master strategist and if someone has a program or a plan or something that they want to bring to fruition you're the person they call because you're going to be the one that knows how to put together the plan of action the plan of attack 
to, to help that program move forward. I've worked with a bunch of people in the past. Cody watching the show right now. Uh, good friend Cody, man. I, he uh, invited me to come to the Adult Literacy Council um, meeting um, and eventually joined the board there at the Adult Literacy Council. And it was, a, it was a great, great run there helping adults learn how to read and write better so they could be promoted in life. And that was one of the things that I learned there is, is, is uh, I've always worked in the past on supporting events and doing things like that. But then we started learning how to put events together. And, and eventually they made me the president of the organization. But we, we put on a big fundraiser every year. And now, I, you know, you do a couple of those. Cody and his lovely wife, Gina, support a lot of fundraisers and are on the boards for multiple companies and multiple uh, organizations in the past. And it's always good to do because when you join these people, you find out what your superpower is. What can you bring to the table to help the whole organization move forward? It may be that you're the planner, that you're, you're the best at, at motivating people to get involved. You may be the one that can really go out and pull support, um, emotional support, financial support, um, things into the organization to move the plan forward. So together, everyone achieves more, right? That's the acronym for team. And a good team, the mark of a good team, is one that has a group of members where everyone has something to bring to the table, right? If there are more than one Patrick Lee, one of us is redundant and unnecessary. If there are more than two, if Christine has an identical twin um, who is exactly like her, we probably don't need two of those. We need Christine being the perfect Christine in her life, in her circle, right? I don't need two Patrick Lees. I need, well, some days I think I need more than one so I could get more done. But I have learned that if I operate in my superpower, I can get more done. How many of you have, by raise a hand, like, love the show. How many of you have, have had days where everything just went right, right? Some days everything just goes right for you. Maybe it's a week or a season and you're like, man, I cannot go wrong. Everything I do is successful. It turns to gold. My relationships are good. My finances are good. My business is thriving. How many of you, you go through periods like that? Do you ever stop when you're going through those and say, wait a minute, I need to recognize what I'm doing to cause this to happen? Because when that happens, chances are it's because you're operating in your superpower. When you get out of operating in your strength, your superhero-ness, when you get away from operating in what you're great at, you will find that those around you become frustrated. They don't understand what's going on with you. And when they don't understand, you may have two or three people that get involved and say, hey, what's going on? How can I help? Let's talk about it. But a lot of others, people in your life, pull back a little bit. Why? Because they don't want you to bring them down. Maybe they're operating in their superpower and things are going great. And if they stop and take a moment to find out what's going on with you, it's going to reduce them operating in their, in their strength. So they may shy away from you. They may pull back a little bit, right? What's the best way to determine what your superpower is? Hmm. Good question. I just hinted to this. Pull your friends. While we were at this training, one of the coaches had everyone stop. He said, write this down or just do it while we're talking right now. I want you to text 10 of your best friends and ask them if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? And I was sitting with two of my new agents, both very successful in life, but they've recently joined the team and I had taken them to Dallas with me for this training. And both of these agents immediately, and I've done this, I've done this exercise before. Um, both of these agents started texting their friends and emailing their friends and then sharing their answers with me. And it was incredible to watch their spirit light up when this happened, when they started getting these answers. Um, your friends love you and they want to support you and they will tell you your strengths and your weaknesses. The, your friends. Now, I'm not saying go out and poll a bunch of people that you've just met or people that don't really know you. Your friends are the people that you know, trust and love, right? And you feel that they reciprocate that back to you. They know, love and trust you. 
because those are going to be the people that will generally tell you the truth. If they're not that great a friend and they're just an acquaintance, maybe from work or church or somewhere in your social circle, they may give you a nice answer, uh, but not something deep that you can really sink your teeth into that you really believe, right? You want to talk to the people that you know, trust and love and ask them if you had a superpower, what would it be? And if you're brave enough, you may also ask them, if I had an incredible weakness, what would that be? And just see if they don't send you some great answers. I bet you'd be impressed by what you find out from your friends when they start sending you the answers. My particular superpower, believe it or not, that most people identify in me as my power of positivity. I believe I have this strong faith that everything's going to work out, work, out, work out all right. It's going to work out for me. It's going to work out for my friends. I'm going to pour into my friends if I can, as much as I can, to help them be successful. I'm going to try to support their business. I'm going to try to support their relationships. I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to tell them everything's going to be okay. If you will do the work, you will get the results. It's part of life. You have to have faith tomorrow. The sun will come up. Um, we have a great God that we, we know, love, and trust. And uh, that faith is what carries us forward. So I have an incredible power of positivity. Some days are better than others. Some days I speak louder and I am brighter. And some days it drives my wife crazy. People ask Stephanie all the time, is he always like this? And she says, says unfortunately, yes, <laughs> he is. So my goal is to motivate you to be the same way. But I realize that, that my superpower isn't always your superpower. People do business with me because once they get to know me, they figure I'm going to tell them the truth. I'm going to help them out. And that's my goal. And I'm, we're going to try to do that in a, in a happy and positive manner. So most of my business in real estate, many of y'all know, that's why Cody wants a jacket here. I'm supporting my PLG wind shirt. Um, all my business is referral business. It all comes from friends and past clients and my sphere of influence. What is a sphere of influence? People that you know, love, and trust that are in your sphere of operation that know, love, and trust you. That's your sphere of influence. And that's where all of my business comes from, other than and a couple of referrals. We've just closed two referral deals from agents who are in my network who found me online and said, hey, I've got some great friends or, or relatives, family members that are moving into your area. Can you help them? And we do a referral deal. Absolutely. So most of my business comes from referrals. I'm not pounding the phones all day, hoping that someone on the other end will not be offended that I've called them randomly and they don't know me and I want to help them buy or sell a home. Because that's how a lot of agents work. That's how a lot of businesses um, do their job. A lot of people, it's cold calling, cold calling, cold calling. If you've watched The Wolf of Wall Street and, and a few other movies like that. It's ruthless how people have to operate to try to make a buck. And I've always determined in the beginning of my career, that's not how I wanted to operate. I want to work with people who are swimming to me. If I'm in the lifeboat and people are swimming around in the ocean, I want to work with people that are swimming toward my boat. And I want to be pulling everyone into the boat that I can. Everyone that wants to work with me, they're swimming to my boat. So I can save them. I can help them. That's my mindset. But I can't work with people that are swimming away from my boat. And I can't expend all of my energy, my superpowers, if you will, running my boat around after all of these people trying to save them if they don't want to be saved. Right? There you go. Pull your friends. Ask them if I had a superpower, what would it be? And I think you'd be surprised at some of the answers. How many of you have done this? Post in the comments. If you've done this in the past, what were some of the responses that you've gotten? I'm going to be brave enough to ask you right here in the comments. This is going out live. If you if you felt that I had a superpower, either the power of positivity and faith and belief or something other than that, post it in the comments. Let's just send it out there live. I don't care. I'm open to it all. I love it. If I had a superpower, what would it be? Post it in the comments below. See if you don't win a prize. <laughs> you never know. People watching the show have gotten random prizes for me. They've gotten books and uh, baseball caps and, and other merch that we have here. And uh, sometimes it's uh, if they're local, we go out to lunch. It's like, thanks for watching the show, man. I appreciate you, everything that you do. And, and you'll get a gift. But yeah, post in the comments below. 
if you think I have either the, the same superpower, I believe, or something other than that, let me know. And I'd be happy to uh, take that into consideration and work on that as well. That's my challenge for you today. Poll your friends and kind of ask them what that is. And then the next thing I want to encourage you to do at that point is start taking action to operate in your superpower daily. When you have had those periods to where you have operated in your superpower, everything seems to be going right. I want you to, that's, I really do want you to stop and take notice of those times. When you become present in those moments, it's the most fulfilling times that you can have in life. It truly is. And if you will stop and take stock, take inventory in your thought process, write it down, journal it and say, everything is going right right now. Why? What am I doing? What have I created in my sphere, in my business to cause everything to be going right? And if you can identify that, that's the key to your future success. A lot of people call that vibrating on a higher level, right? And we've had, we've talked about that on the show. There is there is this vibration field, this energy field that surrounds the planet. All of us, I believe it's created um, by God, the quantum field, and we vibrate at higher levels and lower levels, depending on when we're operating in our God-given gifts. I believe you can believe what you want to believe, but I believe in the quantum field. I believe that we all vibrate on different levels, and I believe that it was all created by God. God in the beginning was God. God created the universe. Before the universe was, there was God. So it was all created by God. And when we operate <coughs> in those God-given gifts, things start going our way. And when things are going our way, which is the right way, that's God's way, right? And that's what we're trying to get towards. So is your superpower, hey, Patrick just went crazy. Uh, is your superpower your God power? Hmm. Hmm. Are you saying that we are super like God? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's not get into Dianetics and L. Ron Hubbard and all of these different random theologies and doctrines. No, we are not God. We are not gods. Superheroes are not gods. But when we are operating in our superpower, which is our strength, our God given abilities, we are acting like God. We are, we are being the hands and the feet of God in this world. Isn't that what we're called to do as believers? Be the hands and feet of God. If we're going to be the hands and feet of God, should we not do that by operating in our superpower? The powers, the strengths that have been developed and given to us by our creator for us to help our fellow man. The greatest commandment in the New Testament, which is our new covenant with God, is to love your neighbor as yourself. If I have charity for everyone else but not my neighbor, hmm, what good am I? If I can't help those people around me that I know, love, and trust, what good am I? If I can't help them and I know that it's the right thing for me to do and I do it not, what is that called? I'm challenging you today to think for a minute. What is that called? When you know to do right and you don't do it. There's a word for that. You guys know what it is. Everyone watching the show knows what that is. So if, if you have uh, found yourself in one of these seasons of doing right, everything is going your way, and you've taken inventory of why that is, you've located, you've identified your superpower. And then you need to start taking action to operate in your superpower daily. And when you find out what that is, and if it is planning, if it is strategizing behind the scenes, if it is fundraising, if it's picking up a friend by the arm and walking them out of a ditch back down onto the road to success, then you have found a great thing. And you will start finding opportunities, opportunities, opportunities every day for you to operate in your superpower will it <laughs> pete says your superpower is brutal honesty and encouragement i love that pete that's awesome partnership and availability empathy success driven and yes we know to do when we know to do right and we do it not that's called sin christine you're so smart everyone on here 
knows Christine's bold enough to say it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's called sin. And none of us want to be caught up in sin in our life. Right. So <laughs> funny story about sin. I had a friend named Marcia and Marcia is a pastor's wife and she was a Spanish teacher at the high school. So she was called in to interpret for an evangelist at a big church service. And this evangelist was telling this woman in the service that she had sin in her heart. And Marcia was telling her she wasn't getting her. And this is, I was not there. This is a story that she personally told me. And uh, Marcia Knight in Carlsbad, New Mexico was telling this lady she had sin in her heart. The lady, lady kept shaking her head. No, 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 I do not have sin in my heart. And the evangelist kept telling her that she did. And Marcia kept telling her that she did, too. And finally, her daughter said, why are you telling my mother that she has fish in her heart? She said, what? She goes, you keep in Spanish when you're translating, you're telling my mom she has fish in her heart. and We do not know what that means. Apparently, the, the word for sin and the word for fish are nearly identical in the Spanish language. And, uh, and Marcia was telling this person that she was she had fish in her heart and it was the same word for sin. Funny story. Anyway, I've always liked that story. Marcia is a dear lady, dear friend. Love her. So anyway, people, I love the answers. I love that. I think that you are being challenged today to try to determine what your superpower is. And if, when you can do that and you find out what that is, message me, man. You can DM me. You can message me. You can come back and comment on here. I'd love to just talk about that with you and discuss your superpower as well and find uh, start helping you find ways to operate in that in your life as well. Man, I love you guys each and every week. I thank you for coming back to watch the show, Midweek Motivation Live. I hope this has helped you today and this helps you get through the week and you can start operating in your superpower every day. As always, I do this as a service to you to help you move forward in life, to be more successful. If you would like to help me move forward in life and be more successful, I cherish and would honor your referrals in the real estate world. Of course, if you know anyone looking to buy a home, sell a home or invest in real estate, don't hesitate to reach out to me, Patrick Lee at 806-570-7712 or click on the link to my digital business card created by Content Cards, C-O-N-T-E-N-T-C-A-R-D-Z.com. Com. Content cards with a Z. If you're in the real estate space, they can create a digital business card for you as well. Click on that link. Get in my calendar. Give me a call. It will take you to all of my social media uh, social media accounts, tell you all about me and what I do and my team here in Amarillo, Texas, helping people buy and sell homes and, uh, and also invest. God has been very good to me in that area and all of my business comes from referrals from people just like you. Click on that link. Let me know how I can help you as well. Until next week, let me check these comments one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are so welcome. I appreciate each and every one of you for coming back each and every week. Let's get together. Let's stay together. Let's have you operate in your superpower as well. Bonus tip for the day. If you don't feel like you have a superpower, start helping someone else operate in theirs. Yours will show up quickly thereafter. When you start helping other people achieve the things in life that they want, the thing that you are good at cannot help but come to the surface. There you go. That's your bonus tip of the day. You guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.